guys this is lcd multi-function display in this video i'm going to show you how we program that so make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so that you will learn how this thing works and also you can tweak some of these parameters yourself if today is your first time watching make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified when i upload new awesome videos So guys, this is the the code. So I'll just explain a little bit of it, just to show you what is going on. In this code, I name it a LCD multi function. Then you have to include these libraries. This is include wire wire dot h, include crystal liquid crystal i two c dot h. Then here you set the address and the type of LCD that you are using so that is it here i define some of the functions uh, some of our input pin and output pin using the hash defined so i didn't use an integer in order to create a, a space in order to create more space in the micro uh, controller memory that's why i use this hash defined instead of integer so here are some of the custom characters of our battery so i created a custom characters for our battery then this one is the pointer that you are seeing in the LCD display. That is the custom character of it. Then in the setup, I in, I set up uh, I first initialize the LCD and set the backlight and also the pin mode. Here I'm using an input pull up for the imp for our input pins. Instead of using the actual um, input uh, resistor, I use inbuilt input pull up. That comes with the Arduino. Then set some of the output and input. Uh, then also, this is the welcoming message. I first display on the LCD before going to the normal uh, functions. Here is where I store those custom characters. So once, uh, whenever I want to call any custom or uh, any custom character, I'll call it by this address, by this number. Okay. So, here what I did, this is our loop function. If you look at it, I created a, a, a function outside the loop. I created a function outside the loop, then let her call those and that function inside the loop. So, I didn't create this function inside this loop. I created this function out of the loop, then called the function inside the loop. So, here is up and down. I use a, a switch, state, a switch case a statement in order to define what is going on in those functions okay so that is it so you if you go through this 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 uh these functions you see how i set the cursor and uh, what i told the, the function to do that is it so this thing you are seeing is just the pointer this part of uh this part is the pointer this is the po pointer in action then after that I also use an if statement to read the input. So based on the what I read, it will increment or decrement. That is it. So that is this if statement. You can see it if statement down, if statement up, if statement enter. Based on what this thing reads, we determine the where the function or where the pointer will be pointing in the LCD. So that is it. Then once you press enter using the same if, uh, if statement, uh, the same uh, switch case, you can see that I created this enter function out of the loop. So based on what you press, we determine what it will display. That is it. That is all this thing you are seeing here. So let's go back to our circuit to see this thing working. So here is the simple uh, setup of the our menu program so here is the push button the center one is the enter this one is the up key this one is the down key so here is our lcd display and i2c module with our Arduino. so the diagram of this will be in the description so i'm going to power this 
this board to see our program running then click enter it will show me the battery status the parameters so after some times it will return back to the main menu then let's go to temperature to check what is in the menu so so this is temperature temperature one two and three so this is just showing normal text because there is no input uh, input sensor so it's going to be displaying this normal test so in our second video we'll be attaching those uh, input sensors of temperature battery and other things so after some minutes it will return back to the main menu so that's returned back to the main menu so we are going to the ac voltage to check what is there so click enter so this is what is displaying in the ac voltage status the voltage current and watts so let's check the load click enter so this is the load load 1 load 2 and the status of the load so there is no load attached to this system that's why it's displaying none so after some minute it will return back to the main menu so it has returned back to the main menu so watch what will happen if i click down this arrow will not go back to the top it will remain here so watch if i click down nothing will happen so until I click up, then you can see the arrow. See it. So that is it. So any of this uh, menu that you want to access, you just click enter and you access it. Guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel see you in our next second video where we will be attaching some other components to this this uh, program